and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Alex and I'm going to chat to you today about some of my knitting and sewing projects um, and I've got a little bit of a shop update news as well. I'm in a tiny bit of a different setup today. Um, it's so dark here in the UK, it's been really overcast. When I got up this morning could hardly see it out, it was so foggy. So I'm trying to get as much of the light as I can. <laughs> so hopefully this will film okay and you'll see all the colours perfectly. Um, but yeah, I've got, I haven't got loads to show you, but I've got a few things that I've finished. I had a few things last time um, that were sort of close to being finished. So I've got, first thing is my treehouse mitts which are finally done. Should I pop them on so you can see? They've got this beautiful pattern on one side and then they're just plain on the other. But I really, really love these and they're so cosy. I recently, well, it was when, I can't remember, it was almost a month ago now, I uh, went up to Cumbria. I do some work with the Fibre Company, which I think I've mentioned here before. Um, I do their community management, so I do lots of their social media things and it was freezing going up to Cumbria. I think the cold snap had happened. I don't think it was just that going up north, it was so much colder because I'm down sort of south. Um, and it always is a bit warmer down here, but it was absolutely freezing. And I felt really silly when I packed to go, I'd put in like gloves and scarves and shawls and those jumpers. And I thought there's no way I'm gonna need any of this. I'm completely overpacking. And I hadn't even got, got there when I was like pulling everything out, I had to change trains and I unzipped my case and I was pulling out my mitts. So I was really glad that I had these, they kept me cozy. And I had my big coat on, so I had a lovely time. It was so beautiful there. I wish I could spend more time up there with the whole team. It was a really, really lovely trip. Um, we got loads of work done. We did lots of sort of brainstorming and planning for the next year, which was really good. But it was just nice spending time with everybody. I work remotely, so it's always on email and Slack and that kind of thing. So it was nice being up there and getting my hands on all the wool. And it's absolutely beautiful where our HQ is. You sort of look out, you see all the mountains and beautiful. It's right in the Lake District, so you can just imagine it. it's stunning. So yeah, it was really great having my mitts there. And if I didn't say, these are the Treehouse Mitts by Melody Hoffman and they're knit in De Natura, no, how do you say this? I wrote it down. De Rerum Natura Ulysse. That's it. And I'll pop all the details in the show notes so you can look up any of the yarns I've used and the patterns. Um, if you want to get your show notes to your email, that's something I always do every time I put up a video. If you want the show notes to your email, there'll be a link in the description box below and you can sign up there to get a notification whenever I upload a video, I'll email you and I'll send you all the show notes. But if you don't want them on your email, if you pop over to my website, alexcollinsdesigns.com and you go to the blog there, you'll see all the show notes will be up there as well. So that's first project done, which I'm very happy about. And the second thing, which I did say I probably would finish, is my cereal socks. So I think they've come out beautifully. I love this pattern. It's the second time that I've knit these and it's the War Barn Twist Sock, which is just such a great sock yarn. It's one of my favorites actually. I think I'll take these off the sock blockers so you can see the drape, because they're really, really, you can kind of see that they've got a lovely, lovely handle to them. But I really enjoy this pattern. It's kind of mindless for me, but it has a little bit of interest. If it's just stockinette, sometimes I find that a little bit boring. It's got this beautiful heel as well. I really, really love these. So that's the Cyril Socks by Danielle George of Little Bobbins in the wool barn twist sock and it's a beautiful colorway. I got these, um, I got this yarn at Fibre East back in the summer. That was a really lovely skein that I got there. So I've got those and I'm ready to cast another pair of socks and I've just got this gorgeous yarn that I wanted to show you. Isn't that beautiful from Woolly Mammoth? You're getting a really good representation of the color there, I think. It is her natural sock, which is BFL and Cheviot and it's sourced and spun and made in the UK and it says the fibre origins the UK and you get 400 metres to 100 grams so it's a really nice fingering weight just pop those details up there for you and yeah I'm really into natural sock yarns I don't think you have to have nylon in your socks I've got quite a few pairs that don't have nylon and 
I find they're just as good as any of the other socks I do. Um, I guess for socks that I'm wearing, really sort of hard wearing, like inside my wellies, I probably do tend to pull out my socks that have got nylon because I know they've got a bit of added strength. But actually, I've not got, had any problems with the socks I don't have nylon in getting super holy or anything. They wear just about the same as my nylon socks. So, yeah, I'm really excited to cast on something with these. I did a collaboration with Woolly Mammoth for her for her um, shop anniversary or shop birthday and this was one of the skeins that I got. I sent her a load of bags. They may still be in the shop. I think there might just be a few left, so I'll put a link below. But I did these beautiful sacks that were printed with a design that I did inspired, sort of by her logo. It's got a bit of a wreath going on. But yeah, I did these printed sacks for her to go with her new sock launch. So yeah, I'll pop a link below and you can check out and see if any of the bags are left in stock. So I think that's all I've got for knitting. Oh no, hold on. One more really important knitting. This is the one thing I'm actually working on. So, and I've excitingly got it in one of my new Winter Woods bags. I don't know, have you seen these? I posted about them on my Instagram. What I love about these bags is, can you see there's a little log cabin? I hope the camera picks that up. Because that's one of my favorites. It's like spotted around on the fabric. So you might only get two or three on each bag is these cute little log cabins. So this is a design that I screen printed in gold and black on my grey sacks, on my drawstring bags. And inside, I've got a scarf that I've been knitting for my partner, Theo. I, he's been really needing a scarf for ages and been saying that he'd like one. I really didn't want him to buy one. A few times in and out he's looked and I think, oh, it's just crazy when I could knit a really beautiful one. So this, I hope the camera will pick, is it picking it up? Yeah. This is the Dunaway scarf by Julie Hoover for Brooklyn Tweed. And it's got this lovely tubular cast on. So I'll unpick this right at the end. I've just kept it in until I block it so it keeps the end nice and in shape. But yeah, it's a Judy Hoover pattern for Brooklyn Tweed. And I'm actually knitting it in the Fibre Co Cumbria Fingering. This is, I think, the Appleby Castle colour. Isn't it a gorgeous red? It's showing up quite dark on the camera. That's probably when I hold it back a little bit further. But it's a beautiful, rich red. It's so Christmassy. I'm not show you in the ball. But yeah, can you see? It's gorgeous and Christmassy. I feel like the dark colours aren't picking up so well. As I said, it's a really gloomy day today. But yeah, this is a really nice scarf. And so I've got, I put a little pin in where I was halfway. So as you can see, I've got, not too much about this. How much is that? I'm not very good with maybe eight inches to go. But I can already feel that it's gonna be super cozy. And I think it's just right. I think he's the kind of guy, he doesn't want like a really big chunky scarf, but he would wear it, you know, when guys kind of wear it like this and then they pull through the loop. So I didn't want to do, because it comes in two versions. There's like a worsted weight and then obviously like a fingering weight scarf. Quite a lot of knitting, <laughs> but I really love the effect. It's got this really nice rib sort of design. And yeah, although it's been, I'm monogamously knitting on it, so every night I've been knitting trying to get this finished for him so that I can then move on to some projects that I want to do. But I know it will just take me twice as long if I, try, if I knit on other things, so I'm just trying as quickly as I can to get this one done, um, but knitting lots of love into it at the same time. So that's my only real work in progress at the moment. Yeah, I finished those few little bits and then I was straight on to getting the scarf. I actually, I think I might have started winding up the wool for this when I came back from Cumbria because I picked up this yarn while I was at the Fibre Company HQ so because I knew that I wanted to knit this for him for Christmas so I yeah so I think I have been knitting that since I came back pretty much non-stop in the evenings and it's nice because it's a relaxing pattern I can kind of unwind in the evenings so it's been so busy you can imagine with the shop at this time of year. Everybody's putting in all their Christmas orders and it has been really busy. I've been doing printing and sewing non-stop in the day. So in the evening, I just wanna flake out on the sofa, 
put a podcast on and knit on something really simple. So this has actually ticked all the boxes. And I've been so happy that these have been so well received, these drawstring bags. They will be in the shop this weekend. Actually, this whole week, um, I've basically put everything that I do in the shop is up for sale and I'm doing it on a made to order basis. So that's in the hopes that everybody who wants something will be able to find it because whatever I put in the shop update, I guarantee you I always get emails for the things that are not in stock with people saying, oh, I really want this or I want a Toro or I want a different colour drawstring bag, something that's not in stock. They want to bundle it with their order. So I thought, okay, if I put everything I have made to order and everything will ship in time for Christmas. So at the moment, the shipping time's in about seven to 10 days for me, depending on whether, sometimes I need to actually print the fabric. If I've completely run out of fabric, then I'm starting from scratch. I, I print all the fabric, cut everything by hand, everything's sewn by me on my machine. Bags like this, I hand sew the insides, close the bottom. I even make the, um, the ties that you see on the bag. These are all top stitched and pressed to make the ties. So there's a lot of work that goes into these bags. But yeah, so they will be, um, so for the rest of this week, um, everything's up for basically pre-order. So if you want anything made to order, you can purchase it in the shop now. Um, I could talk to you quickly about, I was going to save it for the end, but basically I've got a few bits. So I'll have, um, I've got these, like my drawstring bags with the blue as well. And I will also have the drawstring bags in these prints as well, the original print in the blue and the grey. These sweater sacks are up in the shop at the moment. I've got, oh, I didn't. I think I showed you these last time. I've been doing these cute little Nations pouches, which I've had a few orders for those, which I'm really happy about because I love these. So I've got the Nation pouches and the little drawstrings as well. So I've got, those will be in the shop. And one last thing that I was going to show you with these, I don't often show these on the podcast, but this is literally one of my favourite things that I make. I think this is the favourite thing that I use from the shop, and it's a needle organiser. So, let me just unwrap it for you. It's going to be a little bit hard to show, but basically it's for organising your needles in. You can see it's got, so how many pockets has it got? It's got four large pockets, and I think it has 16 of these little small ones. And yeah, you can see I keep one of these Loop London gauge stitches in there and I've got in the bottom of mine, so I've got like my little DPN, um, actually no, these are my interchangeables, I think all my DPNs are in use at the moment, I've got like my cable needles, but you can just curl up your wired needles and pop them in there and this is literally so useful i love keeping them i used to just have them all literally in like a ziploc bag all my needles were tangled up and now it's such a pleasure when i want to cast on any project and i get out my proper needle organizer and yeah i just really like having everything sort of beautifully organized but that's something yeah because i'm always talking about the projects that i'm working on i never show that kind of thing so I thought I'd get out my um, yeah my needle organizer and show you. Let me just tie that up. There you go and then so you just secure it with a little bow on the front. So yeah, you can order those. They're in the shop. So yeah, everything's in the shop at the moment. That sold all my tool rolls, all the different drawstring bags. I've got um, what else do I have? Tote bags, market bags, everything. And then on Sunday at 8pm, I'm going to do another update where I will have stuff that's ready to ship. So there'll be the Winterwoods collection that comes with little DPN cozies. Got those in the shop. And sock sacks. Little sock sacks. And those are actually sold. You can get those as a set as well. And you get a little bit of a saving if you buy those two as a set. So yeah, I've got all sorts of bits coming in the shop. So I hope you don't mind me rambling on about the shop news right now. It just sort of felt like it came up in conversation. So have a little sip of my tea and I'll show you some of my sewing bits. So I've got, this is, let's see if I, so 
stand back a little bit yeah you can probably see that better this is basically a mashup of two patterns so it's the lark tee which i've done it was the boat neck tee that i had the pattern for and i've put it with the nico top sort of funnel neck so all i did was i traced off the boat neck pattern and i overlaid the nico top the collar traced the collar so that I had the right shape on the boat neck tee for the collar piece to fit in and yeah I think it works really nice it's just like a slightly more boxy version of the roll necks I love the Nico top but I don't know if you've seen like here at the moment they're really popular to have this kind of like slightly more boxy shape you can have a little tuck at the front but this is just in a really simple rib jersey I don't know, can you see yeah you can see it's ribbed and it's got perfect size funnel neck it's not rolled it's just um it's doubled over and sewn in you can see i've overlocked that inside but yeah they came together so fast i've actually got um i've got another one that i just left hanging up over here let me go and get that I left this hanging so that I didn't have so many creases but this is another version in like a really dark super dark kind of almost like a foresty green is it showing up kind of but what I love about this is it's so drapey and it's not quite finished you can see it's still got pins in because I need to get some matching thread so all I need to do is hem the sleeves and hem the bottom and it's done. But this was, um, I got from Mizzen Textiles, this gorgeous, it's super drapey, so cosy. I don't know what the composition is of the, um, the jersey, but it's so soft. It was a little bit expensive for what I'd usually pay. It was like £27 a metre, but I actually only needed about a metre of this because it was on a really long roll. So I knew that there'd be enough... Um, yeah, just to cut out one of these. And this is again the same. It's a lark tee with the Nico neck. So yeah, those are my two sewing bits that I've done this week. And yeah, I think they're gonna be really good for my autumn wardrobe because that's kind of what I'm wearing at the moment is like jeans and roll neck. I don't think I've talked about it on here before, but I've got, so basically every year I kind of put together like a little mood board for myself and this looks super tatty and I'll tell you why because I carry it around in my bag and it's basically I have a Pinterest board that I change each season and so you can see like this is one of the pieces that I was uh, is that focusing I think you can see that one of the pieces that um was inspiring the roll necks that I did but this is something else I want to do next so I've got a pattern and some fabric to do this I'm going to use the sew over it shift dress pattern and do a little stripy roll neck but yeah I just kind of pieced together some kind of silhouettes I like like I was thinking this would be really nice in one of the petite knits one of her patterns but yeah as you can see it's super tatty because I carry it around so then when I'm fabric shopping um or if I'm just planning sort of outfits and things I kind of don't go off track too much I kind of look at things even like if I'm planning a jumper or I want to do a sweater I kind of look at okay what colours and shapes and fabrics was I really into um, and yeah so I literally have that carrying around it's in my bag all the time maybe I'll try and put in the show notes see if I can put an image of that because I yeah I just do that for fun because I'm a bit nerdy about these things <laughs> so that's all part of my like autumn winter capsule wardrobe so I've got two pieces ready um and yeah I think that's everything that I had to chat to you today kind of wanted to keep it short I've been having some technical problems a few of you said last time about the focus going in and out and it's just really hard I've just got like um a basic sort of entry level camera and the light's really dark and I think it's just struggling a lot to kind of adjust the focus but yeah, there's not too much, I don't have the technical expertise or the equipment to do too much about it. So I've been, I'm sitting in somewhere with a bit more light and yeah, hopefully this has worked. So yeah, I didn't want to do like an hour long podcast and all of it be out of focus and making people feel seasick. So hope it didn't feel too rushed me going through all those bits, but hopefully next time, it'd be really nice to do another video before Christmas. Um, so yeah, I will 
speak to you soon. I have got all the show notes. I've given you all the information about that. You can find me over on Instagram at Alex Collins Designs and my website is alexcollinsdesigns.com. So you'll get the shop update there on Sunday at eight for all the things that are ready to ship. And if you know what you want already and you want to get be first in line, um, go and place your orders now because everything's in stock in the shops. So if you want something now, you can go and purchase. Or if you're wanting to wait and have those few ready to ship items, yep, yeah, that'll be Sunday at 8 p.m. So thanks for stopping by. Leave any comments you've got below. I always love reading all your comments. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.